Hello, this is going to be a tutorial on just setting up a landscape quickly in Unreal 4. And what I'm going to do is make a material that changes the texture based on the slope angle. So before I start this, I would just quickly say that if you really want to do good landscapes in Unreal 4, you really ought to invest in something like World Machine or GeoControl. But if you haven't got access to those things, then uh, this will be enough to get you started. So I've just started up a blank project and I've used I've just used the blueprint first person. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my landscape tool and I'm going to just come down in this management manage bit and you can set the size of the landscape and all that kind of stuff in here. For now, I'll just leave it at the default and I'll hit create. Then I'm going to go to these sculpt tools and I'm going to get my sculpt tool and I'm going to start sculpting this out a bit. So I'm not really bothering to do this particularly well. I just want to do enough to demonstrate the setting up the material. So I'm going to take make some quite nice big slopey hills like that. And what you might want to do or what you can do is get this erosion tool. I actually think this erosion tool does quite a good job. Um, I was quite surprised when I used Unreal 4 that this could uh, this tool does actually make some quite realistic looking landscape. So you can just sort of run it over all of the edges. And it creates these sort of more realistic kind of sharp slopes. Uh, anyway, okay. That's that done. Um, I'll just come out of the landscape tool. And what I've done is I've got a couple of materials or a couple of textures rather set up here. So I'm just gonna use this grass diffuse texture and this mud diffuse. And what I'm gonna do is right click and create a material. Uh, let's just give that a name, I guess. Landscape map or something. And let's come into this material now. So like I said, I want my grass material and I want my mud material uh, texture rather. So I'm going to bring both of those in. And I want to switch between these based on slope. So I'm going to make it so that the grass is on flat bits and the mud is on slopey bits. Okay, so t what, what we need to do first of all is we need a way of calculating the slope of our terrain. So to do that, I'm gonna take a uh, vertex normal world space. And the blue channel of this will, will give us the data that we need. So if I mask off that, so get a mask, and just keep that. So I'm just keeping the blue channel on that. And um, the blue channel on this will. It's basically if you think for, if you think of the way that a normal map is, this will make sense. The blue channel defines how uh, how extreme the slope the slope angle is. So if I plug this in to base color now, so we've just got the vertex normal, the world space vertex normals, and we've plugged that, the blue channel from that into the base color. If we have a look at the sphere we've got here, let's just make this a bit bigger. Okay, what we've got is things that are flat are white and things that are at about 90 degrees get um, become black. Anything greater than 90 degrees or once it starts to kind of go upside down, it'll just be black. Um, but that wouldn't make any difference for us anyway because we, we're not gonna have any overhangs in our terrain. Um, so that's just created a, a kind of fall off from, from white to black based on the angle. 
what we can do is we can, if we add a subtract node after this, so the white here is a value of one, the black here is a value of zero. So if we went halfway between the black and the white to about here, this would be about 0 0.5. Um, so if we were to, let's say, subtract 0 0.5 from that, then now this area here that was 0 0.5 is now 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5, so it's zero. Uh, and this area at the top that was 1 will now be 1 minus 0 0.5, so it'll be 0 0.5. So this subtract node is now controlling the the slope um, or where the, where, the, where the slope goes from black to white. So if I increase this to, let's say, 0.7, then we'll just have less of this angle masked off. If I decrease it, then we'll have more of that angle masked off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a just a, a single vector. So I've just held down one and clicked. And let's hook that into this subtract. Um, so let's just set that to 0 0.5 again. This is just doing exactly what we had before, um, but I've just got this. I've just got this vex plugged into it now. What I can do is, if I right-click on this and convert it to a parameter, then I can call that something like slope angle, and then we can save our material. Uh, yep, I want to save that. And then let's just save everything. Sorry. Let's. Um, so this is our material that we've made. What we want to do is create an instance of this material so that we can alter it kind of in real time rather than having to let it compile all the time. So let's just right click on this and create a material instance. I'll just give that the default name. If I open this material instance now, you should find that the thing that we turned into a parameter, so that slope angle will now appear in here. So if I take that on, that's just saying that I want to I want to override it. Okay, let's get our terrain and make sure that our material instance is on our terrain. Uh, it'll, we'll need a second for it to compile the shader now. And then save everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go from lit mode to unlit mode just so that we can see this what's happening here. Okay, now as we've already seen, this parameter is controlling the the angle at which we go from being black to being white. So if I turn this up and down, uh, if I turn this down, you can see that almost all the terrain is white. A tiny bit of it's a bit darker. If I turn this up, then the sloped areas get darker. Okay, so that controls the where the mask kind of sits on the slope angle, what what angle it starts to affect it at. What we could also do with doing though is controlling the fall off on this. So make the transition sharper or softer depending on what we need. So to do that we're going to need a new parameter and we're going to put that into so we're going to need to put that into our main material. And what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to add a multiply node. So you can see as I increase that multiply that's at 500 our fall off is almost gone. If I brought this down to about 20, then we've got a little bit of a soft fall off. If I brought this down to one, we've got a very soft fall off. So we've now got a value, we've now got a way of controlling how sharp our fall off is. So let's just do the same thing again and let's create a, uh, a single vector, plug it into the multiply and right click and convert that to a parameter and we'll call that fall off. 
and let's set its default value to let's say 20 it doesn't really matter okay save all of that and let's go back into our instance and now this value has appeared in our instance as well so we've also got this fall off value so if I tick that on so that I can change it in here then we can see as I decrease that value this fall off becomes softer and as I increase it that fall off becomes sharper so now I can control the fall off with that and I can control the slope with this. So if I only want it on very sloped bits, I can turn that down. If I want it on uh, a kind of wind, wider range of slopes, then I can turn it up like so. Okay, so all we need to do now is to hook up our actual textures. So we just want to say, looking at this, we just want to say if it's white, we want grass, and if it's black, we want it to be this mud texture. So to do that, we're just going to use a linear interpolate, and that is essentially exactly what a lerp node does. Um, it just says if, if something's black, then do one thing, if it's white, do the other, and then it will interpolate between those two values. So if you've got a grayscale, it'll kind of blend them together. So what we need to do is plug the result of our uh, of these nodes here into the alpha channel of that lerp, which can then go into base color. And then we can just say that black is mud, so that goes into A, and white is grass, so that goes into B. And that's pretty much done. We've got one slight problem here um, in the sense that this is very, very uh, kind of blown out. So we're getting these horrible purples here and the grass just looks really blown out. That's just because the value here is, is, too, is, is going beyond uh, zero and one. So what we want to do to fix that is just put a clamp in. So let's just put this multiply into the clamp and then put that into the alpha and we're going to set the clamp as the minimum value of zero and the maximum value of one so that's just going to say don't don't let any values less than zero or more than one come out of here um because that's what we want for the for the alpha for our linear interpolate and you can see that's working now so all we need to do is to uh in fact i'm just going to I'm just going to plug some values into my spec and metallic and roughness. I'm just putting these values in so that they're not doing anything essentially. Let's save that. And now we've got grass. Slow my camera down a bit. We've got grass here, and then we change to mud once it gets onto a sloped angle. And we can control how that's working all through uh, through here. So we probably want to increase the slope angle a bit, and we'll definitely want to decrease the fall off a little so that we get a bit of blend between these two things. It really, it would depend on what you were blending between um, how high you would want this. Mud to grass, you'd, you'd maybe want the fall off quite soft like that. Um, maybe if we were going to rock or something, we'd want to make it a little bit harder. Okay, so that's it. Let's just uh, go back to lit. And I'll just do a build of that to finish this off. Okay, so that's finished building. Obviously, this would need a lot more work um, to make it look good. We could just hook up our normals as well. I'll just do that quickly. So I'll bring in my two normal maps as well. And I can basically use this same uh, linear interpolate 
So let's just copy that, plug the same thing into the alpha, and this time we want, I think this is the, that's the grass there. So the mud wants to go into uh, that one and the grass wants to go into that one. And then we can plug that into our normal map as well. And we could do exactly the same thing with, with a, a proper roughness map or a spec map or um, I don't think you'd be using a metallic map on a, on a landscape. Um, but we should see our, our normal map is working now. Uh, we might need to turn up our, uh, turn down our roughness a little bit to see that. But um, there you go, that's how you can set up a quick landscape with a very simple material to act on the slope angle. You can do a very similar thing with uh, picking a height as well. So if you wanted to put snow on the top of these, you could do that. Okay, that's it.